How to use UPI and why? Hello guys, welcome back to Game Reviews. Since last two years, we have seen a huge surge in online transactions in our country. And for that, we must thank two things mainly. First is policy, or I should say an event that is demonetization, which forced people to start looking for alternative ways of spending money other than cash. And the second thing is technology. But in most cases, the technology was already available, like the mobile wallets or online money transfer. But a new tech emerged in the payment space, and that's Unified Payment Interface, or should we say UPI. It revolutionized the way we transfer funds from one bank account to another bank account. For the first time, we were actually able to do an interbank transfer by just entering a unique ID or by entering an Aadhaar number or just by scanning a QR code through our mobile phones. They were no longer required to add beneficiary, enter IVSC code and add account numbers to do a simple bank-to-bank -bank transaction. Now, because of these ease of use, people have started accepting wallet and UPI-based payments as a very viable option for conducting business. So the next obvious question is, how to use UPI? Well, to use UPI, I mean to send and receive money through UPI, you require three things. A bank account, a mobile number which is linked to that bank account and of course a smartphone with internet. Let's go step by step. First ensure that your bank account and your mobile number are linked. To do that you may need to visit your bank, branch or call your bank. Here your mobile number is very important. Use your mobile number which you intend to keep for a long period of time. If you are going to change your mobile number or close the mobile number, it's better not to link that number with your bank account. Now since these two steps are done, let's start coming to the mobile phone itself. Well, you might have seen that there are many UPI based apps in the mobile app store and almost all banks have their own UPI based app. But mind you, it's not mandatory for you to use your bank's UPI app for UPI transaction. I repeat, it's not mandatory to use the same bank account and UPI app to do UPI transaction. For example, if you have a SBI account, you can use Bheem UPI app to do a transaction or if you have a ICICI account, you can use SBI UPI app to do the transaction. And for the record, we recommend Bheem UPI app published by National Payment Corporation of India that is NPCI in the App Store and we recommend Pays app by Google. And the reason why we recommend both these apps is because both these are not backed by any individual banks, which means that they will not sell you any other additional services through the app. Now let's create a UPI account in Bheem and see how it works. First let's download the Bheem UPI app from the Google Play Store or the Apple App Store. Then authorize your mobile number. If you are using a dual SIM phone, please ensure that you are selecting the correct SIM card and the phone number to activate the UPI account. Third step is set up a 4 digit PIN for your UPI account. Please note this is like a password. Don't forget the password and don't tell this to anyone. Then select your bank name from the drop down list and as you can see here almost all the banks in India are listed below. We re-emphasize on the fact that you don't need to use the same bank account with the same bank UPI app. Please don't. The phone number linked to the bank account should be the same phone number you selected on the previous step while registering the UPI account. Now the next step is the system will automatically identify your bank account based on your mobile number and display your bank details. You need to verify and accept the details. That's it, now you are all set and ready to use UPI. On the home screen you can see your UPI ID. This is your unique UPI ID which you can share with people you want money from. People can send money to this UPI ID and the money will be deposited directly into your linked bank account. On, on the home page you can see three things mainly. One is send money. You can send money to your contact list by lining them up based on mobile number, based on Aadhaar number and based on UPI ID. You can also do a traditional account transfer by entering the ISFC code account number and beneficiary name if you want to. Then you can request money or you can ask money from people in your contact list based on again the same thing Aadhaar number or mobile number. Then the third and the most commonly used feature is scan and pay. You can scan a QR code in any shop or anywhere. Now this brings us back to the initial question we asked that is why should we use UPI? We should use UPI because it's simple, because it's efficient and because it's secure. And these are the reasons why we should use UPI and go ahead with it. That's all guys. That's all we had this time on Game Reviews episode.